important announcement. Um, I was confirmed on August 9th of last uh, year and a half ago now, 18 months ago. And I uh, decided to take my oath of office in front of the EOG Memorial in honor of all the Marines that have served since 9-11. I was in New York on 9-11. I experienced uh, the tragedy that befell that city, the tragedy that befell our nation. And I've ever since been extremely proud of the service of not just our Marines who've been called to service, but our many sailors who've called to service as well too in defense for our nation over the course of the last 20 years. And um, today I'm making a very special announcement. Today I've decided that I will announce the future American class amphibious ship will be named the USS Felicia, LHA-9. The future USS Felicia will commemorate the first and second battles of Felicia, American-led offenses during the Iraq War. The name selection follows the tradition of naming amphibious ships after U.S. Marine Corps battles, early U.S. sailing ships, or legacy names of earlier carriers from World War II. It is an honor for me and for our nation to memorialize the Marines, the soldiers, and coalition forces that fought valiantly and those who sacrificed their lives during both battles of Fallujah. This namesake deserves to be in the pantheon of iconic Marine Corps battles and the LHA's unique capabilities will serve as a stark reminder to everyone around the world of the bravery, the courage, and commitment to freedom displayed by those who fought in those battles. The first battle of Fallujah occurred in April of 2004 in an effort to capture or kill insurgents responsible for the killing of four U.S. contractors. The second battle of Fallujah, fought between November 7th and December 23rd, 2004, it was a major U.S.-led offensive to retake control of the city from insurgents and foreign fighters. With over 100 coalition forces killed and 600 wounded, Operation Fan Fury is considered to be the bloodiest engagement of the Iraq War and the fiercest urban combat involving U.S. Marines since the Vietnam War's Battle of Way City. General Berger said, Under extraordinary odds, the Marines prevailed against a determined enemy who enjoyed all the advantages of defending in an urban area. The Battle of Fallujah is and will remain imprinted in the minds of all Marines and serve as a reminder to our nation and its foes why our Marines call themselves the world's finest. So I am very proud today here in this historic site, Marine Corps Barracks, Washington, D.C., to make this announcement. And Chesty, Thank you for continuing to serve in the proud tradition of every Marine. Thank you.